Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Full of heroes, especially those who sacrificed to keep us safe. Thank you, veterans from Shields. After the emotional weekend at home against Minnesota. UND headed out on the road to Colorado Springs to take on Colorado College. UND was plagued with its slow start on Friday once again, as the Tigers scored two before UND could get on the board. Now they put it into the middle, barrier, a backhand, and he scores! Uh, you know, they... Uh Give credit to them. They played a solid game. They they came out and took it to us for uh, for the first two periods there, and we were just uh, we were slow to start. You know, we weren't handling the passes. We weren't crisp, and that just comes back to mentally uh, mentally being prepared for Friday night. You know, you can't uh, just walk in here and you know it was golfers last week, and now you know we gotta gotta play three periods win a game. Shane Gersich finally sunk one late in the second to round out the final score in the two to one loss. And then an errant pass and picked off by Gersich. Walks in, fires, and scores! Saturday's game found a much more brisk pace to the action. Freshman Grant Mismash opened up scoring just seven minutes into the game. After falling down 2-1 to one after the first, North Dakota rattled off three goals in just over two minutes in the middle of the second period. Among them, senior captain Austin Poganski nabbed his first goal of the season in the second period. Now it was backhand, still has it, slides it right into the goal crease, and Poganski scores! Yeah, it really was. It's been a long time coming. I felt I was doing the right things today. and I mean, it wasn't the prettiest goal. It's the grimiest goal ever, but I think I'll take it at this point. I'll just keep, uh, keep driving. Ahead for Gardner across the line. Feeds on the right side, moving in for a wrap around. They score! Gabe Bass with the wraparound. Mismash also closed out scoring for the Fighting Hawks with his second of the night early in the third period to bring the final score to a 6-4 to four victory. Uh, it was good. I thought we bounced back good from last night. And, um, you know, we got the bounces that we needed. And, uh, we played hard down the middle. And, uh, we scored our chances, so uh, it was good to see the result we got. In hockey, many players follow a game day routine that, if not done correctly, can change the entire feel of the day. I have a couple of weird uh, rituals, I guess. Uh, we have our pregame meal on game days, and uh, when the coach is done saying his words after we've eaten, um, me, Cam, and Christian will land and uh, put our cups up in the air and like basically salute each other uh, and then once we all make eye contact or whatever we drink our drinks and take off and then uh, uh, before we go onto the ice for warm-ups I, I play soccer every day and if I don't play soccer I don't feel right. I don't really do a whole lot I'll, I'll come to the rink obviously 
Um, have this, I have the same breakfast every morning. I guess I do every, everything the same on game days. I have the same breakfast, come and skate, and then I'll go home, take a little nap before the game, and then obviously come back to, come back to the rink and, and do all my game day uh, traditions. But uh, I'd say the most weird thing I guess I would do is uh, just getting dressed the same way every, every game I go. Right leg before left leg, right arm before left arm. So um, I guess you can just say I do my right side of my body first. Sometimes if uh, I'm struggle, struggling a little bit mentally, getting uh, really dialed in for the game, or if I'm having any questions about my game, I have a, a little note that I wrote down, some, some of my keys on it, just some things to, to bring me back down to earth and um, to help relax me. So I got that little note that I'll read to if, if I need it. Me and the freshies, uh, we do like, like when we leave for a game, we all leave uh, in the same car. We go in my car and uh, we yeah. play this song. Um, on the way to the rink, that kind of gets us hyped up a little bit and uh, ready to go. Um, that's one. And then, you know, when I'm getting dressed, I always start at the same time. Uh, and I always like do my left shin pad first, my left skate first. And, um, those are kind of weird superstition. For some, it's all about keeping to their schedule throughout the day, while others believe it's just a matter of doing the little things that gets them motivated. I guess I just have a, a schedule, you know, kind of a routine that, that gets me into the, into the game day groove. One thing I like to do is just kind of start fresh on my uh, tape job on my stick. I know a lot of guys are pretty specific about their, their stick and the way it's taped. and. That's, a, that's one thing on game days you see a lot of guys doing with, with their sticks. Do some, maybe some weirder stuff when uh, when I get to the rink. Um, I'll just, like I tape my stick a certain way every game. I uh, I gotta tap my pads a certain way, um, like four times on each pad, left to right. I don't know, just some weird stuff I do. Um, but I don't know, nothing too weird. Uh, I know in warm-ups, I always see uh, Pogo and Olsen, like, one of them will be in the corner, and I think it's Pogues that, like, throws a puck at them, and then they, like, they hit each other two times after or something. No, it's something weird that uh, those two do, but... A lot of guys nap during that time, but I actually don't like to sleep, really. I just kind of like to stay awake, um, just kind of watch TV or watch Netflix or something until uh, we head to the rink, so nothing really special. There's just little things too, just the way people, uh, you know, tape their sticks or, or where they put their sticks after they're done taping them, or they go and they stick handle on the ice just to kind of get the feel of uh, certain things. Um, so yeah, a, a lot of guys have these little rituals that they do, um, and I think that's, you know, all, all hockey players do that. While some of the players have a strict ritual, some don't like to think they're superstitious at all. Uh, I don't like to. I don't like to think that I'm superstitious. Um, I think that I, I do things the same. I call it more of a routine than uh, being superstitious. But I like to get here first uh, and usually uh, just warm up, stay loose, try not to take it too seriously. Um, getting ready for a game. It's, uh, however. People want to get comfortable for a game and get ready. Uh, obviously, everyone has different routines, and whatever works for you, I guess works for you. And then, uh, some guys, I know I do. If I have, uh, maybe if I don't feel like it's working, I change something little, and then if it works one game, just keep going until it doesn't work, and then switch something up again. So um, I don't know, that's how it works, I guess. I think most people are are pretty relaxed and, and just go with the flow. In my time here, we really haven't had too many too many guys that had pretty weird uh, pretty weird traditions. But um, no, I don't I don't think we have any guys really on this year's team either that that have some weird traditions that they do or guys that you can't really talk to on game day. Everybody's pretty loose, and um, we got a pretty easy easy going group this year for sure.
road trip continues as the team prepares to head to Wisconsin this weekend for a non-conference battle with the Badgers. This week, you know, we've talked a little bit about our Friday night starts, and you know, it's not that we haven't been playing badly; it's just that we haven't, uh, you know, produced as far as offensively on Friday nights. Um, try to get probably to a quicker start, try to get on the scoreboard a little bit quicker, and try and do the things that'll give us a chance to do that. And I think, you know, obviously on Saturday nights we've done that. We've had, had a little bit of success on scoring early, and it's kind of carried over through our game with momentum. They have a slightly bigger um, ice sheet. It's not quite Olympic, but it's bigger than ours. Uh, so we're practicing upstairs um, to get used to, you know, the bigger sheet. But uh, you know, they're a good team. They're young. They got a good goaltender. They have uh, that graduate tr transfer, Kyle Hayton. Um, he's a pretty good player, and uh, they're skilled up front. So <clears throat> there's nothing too much that we're doing to um, really zone in on them. We're just kind of, you know, working on things that we need need to work on and that we learned from ourselves last weekend. Um, yeah, they have you know a lot of skill. They're really fast, so um, you know, we'll be obviously we're a team that plays like that too, with a lot of grit, and uh, we're a hard team to play against. So we're gonna look to um, you know really out battle them and outwork them, and um, you know hopefully just uh, set the set the tone of the game really, and um, you know just in practice we haven't really um, focused too much on. Practicing for Wisconsin, we've just kind of been doing our our thing and just keep rolling with it, and uh, hopefully going to Madison and get two wins. So.